Hello and welcome to the Netlink Proxy podcast. My name is Armin Beck and I am the product manager of this product. I am the one that will guide you the next 10 minutes through this commissioning example. First of all, let us clarify what are the requirements. Here are the basic things that we need. First of all, you have to install Sycon.net completely. Then of course you need the Netlink proxy hardware. This device you can connect either to your Profinet switch or directly to your PC. To test the Netlink proxy functionality, you need of course a DP slave and a valid GSD file of it. Finally, to check the Profinet communication, you need a Profinet controller. For this podcast, I've prepared all the programs that we need on my desktop. After the installation of the Proxy's DVD, you find usually those two programs here. In order to configure the Profinet controller, I have installed Step 7 software from Siemens as well. Now let us start the commissioning. The very first utility you have to use is the Ethernet device utility. This program scans for Hilcher devices via broadcast messages. So press the scan button and you see here the program has found my Netlink device connected to my local subnet. When you click into the row NetIdent protocol with the right mouse button and say configure, you can now set up the Netlink proxy's IP address since Netlink by default has an IP address of zero. Look, when I make a rescan, my Netlink now has the IP address of my choice. So first commissioning step is now accomplished. My Netlink proxy has now a temporary IP address. The first commissioning step is now accomplished. As next we have to start Sycon.net configuration utility. This utility comes up with an empty buzz line where we usually connect our Hilcher devices to. To the right hand side you find the device catalog from where you drag and drop your devices of your choice. You find the Netlink proxy device under Profinet and name NL51NDPL. Drag and drop the device to this gray bus line with your mouse. This will take some seconds. Here we are. The Netlink proxy device is now placed. Besides the Netlink connector you see the pink Profibus line where you connect usually the Profibus slave to. In order to get in touch with the Netlink device we have to configure the driver within Sycon.net. When you double click the Netlink this dialog will open and it automatically starts to scan for a device. But since the driver is not configured yet it doesn't find any so we have to configure it. Select NetX driver to the left hand side and then choose TCP IP connection and you see here in the middle of this window there is no IP address configured yet. When you click the green plus in the middle of the screen, Sycon allows you to enter an IP address or an IP address range. This IP address or the range will be scanned once you click the scan button in the main window here. So another click to the scan button makes a rescan and here you see that my netlink is now found by the driver. Just mark it and press apply. By pressing apply the device is now physically assigned in Sycon. The device assignment is saved in Sycon later on when you save the project. So Sycon will remember this connection. Now we can continue with the Profibus configuration. Before we do a network scan on Profibus, we have to import the GSD file of the expected slave first. For this, use the network import device description entry from the top menu. I prepared my GSD file on my desktop. You have to select it. I don't have any bitmaps, so I say no, and I say yes. And what Sycon is now doing it is updating the device catalog. This will take a while.
Now it is finished. The easiest commissioning you can imagine is the automatic network scan. Look, here is the GSD file in the device that I have imported. You can configure this device manually by drag and dropping it to the buzz line, but I am using the automatic network scan instead. A right click to the icon offers you this option. So, the scan will bring up all devices that are connected to the netlink. Here you find my device. See? Since I have imported the GSD file before the scan, Psycho knows exactly the type and configuration of the slave that I have connected to the netlink. At the end of the scan we have to accept the new configuration and Psycho now will automatically configure netlink's configuration. Here we are. At the pink buzz line you find now my scan slave. You see also here that the netlink is now green marked. The green color tells you that Psycon is online with the device. Now we have to select disconnect to disable this connection. Since the scan is finished, So see, everything is done now. The next thing that we're going to do is exporting the GSDML file for the Profinet I.O. controller by clicking that link right and choosing Profinet Extras Export GSDML File. I set the location to the desktop. See here the file. This file we will import in step 7 later on. Finally, we have to download the Profibus configuration to Netlink. Again, use the right mouse button and choose Download from the drop-down menu. The software will now prepare the download and downloads the whole configuration in three steps. So, this was all. So let me repeat what we have done so far. We have auto-configured Profibus configuration, we have exported the GSDML file and we have made a download. We are now ready and finished with the Psycon.net software, so we can close it. Since Netlink is again marked in green color, I select Disconnect and then I will save the project for reuse and I'm gonna leave Psycon.net Before we configure the Profinet I.O. controller, I just want to show you something. Since we set up the IP address temporarily and made a download via Psycon configuration software, you see that Netlink falls back to the IP address 0. This is accepted since the Profinet I.O. controller will give it later on its real IP address. As next, I start the Step 7 software from Siemens to configure my PLC. I've prepared a tiny little project already. In order to configure Profinet, you have to click on the PLC and choose Hardware. Then the Hardware Configurator will open. Look, you see already some devices configured and one of them is the Profinet I.O. controller with its empty buzz line. What we have to do now is to import the GSDML file that I have exported previously within Psycon. Look here, the additional devices are empty. To do so, choose Options Install GSD File. Move to the folder where the GSDML file is located. 
Step 7 offers you all the options and then choose the GSDML file. Step 7 will now update its device catalog as well. This may take a while. Now look, while before my list of additional devices was empty, now you find here the net link that I drag and drop now to the empty bus line. You can look to the device's configuration when you click on it. You see three slots occupied and here is the slave with the address 4 that is proxied from this netlink. After importing now and placing the device, we can now make a download to the PLC. Press OK here. Now it will make the download. And after the PLC is configured, hopefully my LEDs are all getting green now. Yes, go into run mode and booting, yes. Okay, now I see all my LEDs are green on my PLC, so it is communicating with the netlink. So the PLC has accepted the GSDML file. And now I will make a cross check and I will look to the IO data of the slave within step 7 to read some inputs and to set some outputs. Make some clicks, additional clicks here. Okay, here and here. Yes, and here you see my inputs already. I have a rotary switch on my Profibus slave where I can change the inputs. Look what's happening when I move it up and down. Great. As next I will try some outputs. Set a value here. Say modify. Yes, and all my LEDs are now light up. Super. The audience, this was pretty much it. I hope I gave you a good impression of how easy Netlink can be configured. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.